Hello, my dear Taurus. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. So let's jump in and see what the cards are indicating for you, Taurus, for the week of August 1st through the 7th, 2022. And keep in mind, Taurus, these are very general readings. Not everything will resonate with you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and help support my channel. And I truly appreciate all your likes, shares, comments, and of course, subscribe. So let's begin. Let's see what's coming through for Taurus for the week ahead. Okay, first up, Nine of Water. King of Water. Ten of Fire. Three of Earth. Okay, whoops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, let's just get these kind of lined up here. Well, there's definitely a new energy coming in this week for you, Taurus, but it's going to be something that you're not going to share with others around you. Maybe an idea, a desire, maybe a direction that you're going to go in. Something that you haven't done before is what I'm picking up, but you're really keeping quiet. You're not letting anybody know what you're planning. So very interesting start, Taurus. Well, what I think is what's sparking you this week is the fact you have the Ten of Fire. This is a card of having a lot of responsibility, obligations, uh, possibly uh, things are starting to feel very much like burdens. So this is having a lot on your plate, Taurus, and I think it's really starting to take a toll on you. So what I was picking up in the very beginning was you're toying with ideas to go off in a new direction. And I think last week, if I do remember correctly, I was picking up you're branching off in a new direction. Well, this is something that you're not going to share with anyone. You're kind of keeping this to yourself. And the fact that the numerology here with this 10 of fire is the number 10, that means a certain cycle or phase of your life or some facet or area in your life is coming to a close. So for some Taurus individuals, um, <laughs> there could be an unsuspecting individual that you're going to end a relationship with. Something that where you just feel you're being stifled and maybe thinking about it for some time, Taurus, and you are definitely going to make some changes. So there could be an end of a relationship coming in for some Taurus individuals. But for others, certainly could be work-related. You're burning the candle at both ends, Taurus, and you're deciding once and for all, life is too short and you're going to do something about it. But again, you're not sharing your plan or what you have in mind with anyone at this time. This card's an indication that you're getting to the end of the ordeal and you're going to be making some changes. Now, the next card that I want to talk about is the Three of Earth here. Because this is something new emerging Something's coming together, something where you're really going to be noticed, so to speak. This is where this would be part of your strategy, your plan, what you have in mind that you're not sharing with anybody. This is going off in a new direction. So for some of you, if you have a business, you could be just really like changing things up, eliminating what I want to say, either some customers, clients, 
Um, reaching a whole new audience or clientele is what I'm picking up. But this is truly an energy of a new direction, one where while you're in this plan of launching this, you're keeping everything to yourself because you do not want anybody's viewpoint. You don't want to have them putting their two cents in. So these two cards here kind of are going together. Now you have the nine of water. That is wish fulfillment. What you're envisioning, what you desire is coming together for you. That's apparent here with the three of earth. But the nine of water is an indication of a wish getting fulfilled. So Taurus, you've been thinking about something privately, whether it's in regards to a relationship, possibly where you're living, what you do for a living, the company you work for, your business, whatever it is, you're getting your wish here. The nine numerology is kind of a final reviewing. Is this really what I want to do? You're looking at what you've been dealing with, with this 10 of fire energy, a lot of responsibilities, obligations. You could even be um, having a plan of delegating some of the work to somebody else, like getting a manager or an assistant, something of that nature, Taurus. But the nine of water is something is coming together for you, working out for you. And now, the king of water. And both of these water energies, this is how you're going to be feeling about things. As it's starting to come to fruition, and the, the king of water is commitment. This is really feeling good about the new direction that you want to go in. And so these two cards go together as far as you're feeling how, you know, about how you're feeling about these new plans, these ideas, or what you want to venture off in. Now, this king of water here could actually be someone around you that possibly you trust, might be someone that you eventually let in on your plans, what you're deciding to do. This could be a Scorpio individual. This is somebody that's a good listener, an advisor. This could be somebody um, professional that you're bouncing some information off of to get some advice. It could be financial advice, legal advice, something in regards to the direction that you want to go in. So your energy over here is what you're dealing with and the beginning of change. And then over here, these two cards are just very happy feeling, knowing that you're headed in the right direction and that you're going to be eliminating this 10 of fire energy, which is just wearing you out. Now, your numerology here for your tarot cards you have 9, 1, 10, and 3, which adds up to 23, which reduces down to 5. And 5 is the energy of shaking things up, depending on what you're keeping to yourself, Taurus. Yeah, when the cat is out of the bag, it's going to shake things up. So your five numerology is that challenge where you're breaking tradition. You're breaking from the tradition of what you've been doing. You're moving on in a new direction. It's going to be the best thing for you, Taurus. It's a very positive energy, personal growth. It's going to be better for your health and well-being. So I don't know what kind of schedule you currently have, Taurus, or what you're doing, but you are taking steps to do what's best for you this week. Now let's look at the crystal for the week ahead. Let's see what you get. Apatite. And it says progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. And I actually do have this crystal. Here we go. It's really a pretty blue. Well, 
well, this is certainly about being a perfectionist and that's what's getting you into trouble here with the Ten of Fire as you feel no one else can do it as good as you. Now, for some Taurus individuals, this might be um, where you're thinking about getting a manager, an assistant, somebody that's going to take some of the workload, finally giving into that. But you're having a hard time to let go because you realize that's your brand is what's at stake. So if things aren't done in the same manner that you would do them, Taurus, is what you have an issue with. But you deserve to get away from all this burden of responsibility and obligations. And you're working through this this week with your plans and ideas, but still just keeping everything to yourself until you figure out exactly how you want this to roll out, your plans, your strategy. And again, this crystal card is saying about making some progress, not perfection, because that's what gets you in trouble here in the first place. You're going to be able to relinquish by changing things up, Taurus. You're going to relinquish how much work you have to do. That's going to kind of be the challenge of it all. Now let's take a look at your Oracle message for the week ahead. Okay, you have unmarked trail, revelation. What I'm picking up is what it says right here on the card, an unmarked trail. You're entering into territory that you haven't been through before. Relinquishing responsibilities or changing up your business, your routine, your job, whatever it is, so that life is what you want it to be. So having a revelation, a discovery, an indication here that you've come to already, uh, you've made a choice, Taurus, but you're, you're not yet acknowledging it to others because um, your mind has been made up. You're getting what you desire, what you want. And I do feel with this card, the universe has your back, Taurus. So if you've got some secret plans, follow through on those. It's going to be better for your health and well-being. Last message here, your personal power message from the Starseed deck. And you received free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. That's what I think you're headed for. You're going to have more time to do what it is you want to be doing, Taurus, Taurus, you know, just freeing up the workload, changing things up so that it suits your schedule and what you want to be doing. Well, there you have it, Taurus. That was your messages and guidance for the week ahead. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, help support my channel. Love and abundance to my Taurus family.